Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. There is a new Warbond coming to Helldivers 2, and it looks sick. In fact, it looks quite explosive. Now, in this video, I've got all of the details about what these new weapons are. We're kind of going to speculate on how they will play. We can see footage here from the trailer that has just dropped. And the whole idea of this Warbond is just about explosions. The, the name of it is absolutely incredible. I mean, also this. This BR looks crazy. It looks like it's fell straight out of Destiny. And this Eruptor, I mean, this seems to be doing quite a bit of damage there. I know they're only little bugs, but it does seem quite good. And uh, yeah, you can also, you know, there's a crossbow, an exploding crossbow, because why not? Because if you want to live those Johnny Rambo dreams, then you can with an exploding crossbow. And also this grenade, which just looks, it looks crazy. Like, what is that? Thrown into the back of that charger <laughs> as the Helldiver watches the charger actually die. Now, that's a thermite grenade, but don't worry, because I've got all of this info and we're going to break all of this down. So let's do it. The name of the Warbond is the Democratic Detonation Premium Warbond. What a fantastic name. <laughs> Any liberty-loving Helldivers out there, you're going to love this. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Noble Patriots of Super Earth, the time for stealth is over. A new Helldivers 2 Premium Warbond has been deployed to all fighting units on front lines across the galaxy on April the 11th, codenamed Democratic Detonation. Of course, the, the wording is a bit weird there. This isn't out just yet. It's coming out on April the 11th. So yeah, it isn't in the game just yet. So don't log in thinking I can play it now. You can't. We've got to wait until April the 11th. This is a nice screenshot here. This is the Eruptor. Um, a great screenshot there with what looks to be some sort of... <laughs> I mean, that looks like a, a barrage going off in the background there, but that's the Eruptor weapon. But what really interests me here is look at the Helldiver. Look at the armor. Look at those grenades on the chest because, yes, new armor is coming. And you kind of seen that flashing at the top of the video as we went through the trailer. But, yeah, this weapon looks pretty good. And it looks like it does quite a bit of damage as well. We are getting a battle rifle, the BR-14 Adjudicator Rifle. This delivers righteous judgment to your enemies with accuracy. <laughs> this armor-penetrating assault rifle is best used against smaller groups. And I've got to say, look at this. Nice screenshot of the weapon. And you cannot tell me that that has just not fell straight out of Destiny. Yeah, that is a Destiny weapon, right? Anyway, I love BRs. This could be really, really strong. In fact, this could probably be uh, one of those, uh, maybe the defining weapon of this Warbond much like the sickle is of the uh, previous Warbond. This could be just really, really good. I mean, it's armor penetrating as well. I'd imagine it's probably it's probably medium armor penetrating. Maybe it's light armor penetrating. Who knows? Because it seems to have quite a big magazine. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be one, I think, which is going to be pretty good at taking out basically every single enemy apart from heavies uh, and elites. But yeah, honestly. And also that armor. That armor looks really good. That gas mask and that kind of like World War One style helmet. And then... You, that, the thermite grenade looked like a stick grenade from World War One and World War Two, like a German grenade. I mean, what? It just looks amazing. The R36 Eruptor Rifle. Keep your distance. This bolt action, <laughs> what? this bolt action rifle fires jet assisted shells that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact. All directions, even your face. Now that sounds crazy. I mean, the Eruptor. It looked powerful. In the footage we've seen but i mean yeah firing it into these sort of small hp groups of little bugs and watching it explode and blow them away uh, yeah that's going to be pretty ridiculous but firing shrapnel all over the battlefield it's probably not a good idea in all divers is it especially not for your allies but i don't know this seems like a cool weapon but it seems like a bit of a niche weapon because i bet you the br will just be probably a, a straight up better weapon <laughs> no messing the cb9 exploding crossbow so yeah if you want to live that johnny rambo <laughs> I was going to say the philosophy of Johnny Rambo. It's not that philosophy, is it? It's the fantasy. That's the word I'm looking for. But yeah, exploding crossbow bolts. Yeah, you can do that now. So kaboom. Even uh, enjoy powerful exploding bolts that dish out max damage upon direct impact. Impact Gravity must be accounted for when aiming. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is going to be a super powerful weapon. It might be. You never know. <laughs> but I mean, just running around in a futuristic battlefield against hellish Terminator 2 style robots and Starship Trooper style bugs and just destroying them with an exploding crossbow sign me up for that i'll give that a go <laughs> and this is a look at the crossbow again in a bit more detail a high-res screenshot but the thing that's really getting me here is the armor this armor looks sick i mean that looks like a, a welding mask that looks amazing also the helldiver logo on the the, the, the shoulder pad looks great as well I, I don't know also i wouldn't stand there if i was that helldiver because that icbm looks like it's about to launch and that's going to be a bad time for that helldiver <laughs> The secondary weapons, and there is a utility booster in this Warbond. So, the G123 Thermite Grenade. 
This little beauty can stick to surfaces before burning up to a toasty 2000 degrees. And what is cool about this is we've seen this being thrown at a charger in the trailer and it's stuck to the back of the charger and it's burning the charger away. So it begs the question, is this going to be some absolutely elite grenade which will, well, destroy elite enemies? Can you throw this onto a tank and it will just burn through it and destroy it? Will it destroy hulks? Well, I mean, what, the questions are endless here. What, what is this going to be able to do? This is one that I really want to test because I reckon this could be mega, mega strong. The GP31 Grenade Pistol. Now, this is also another one I think could be really good. So it does what it says on the label. A pistol that fires grenades. Don't forget to reload between shots, though. So, yeah, you've got to reload in between shots. But this could be great for blowing up factories, blowing up bug holes. And I'm starting to think here, uh, the anti-material rifle, really strong. But if you take that, you generally are relying on your grenades or your stratagems to blow up any kind of objective, bug holes, factories, and stuff like that. But actually, if you can just take a pistol that fires grenades, I mean, that sort of, maybe that cures that problem and really buffs that build. So I don't know. I reckon this could be really strong as well. So honestly, on the face of it, I'm seeing a really good grenade, really good primary weapon in the BR, and a really good secondary weapon so far in this, which just looks crazy. This again is a look at the grenade pistol, a nice close-up sort of high-res look at it. Again, the armor looks really nice there. That's the armor with the grenades uh, on the chest as well. I think I prefer the, the armor that looks like the uh, the World War One, World War Two gas mask style armor. That looks crazy. But yeah, I think this pistol is going to be really good. This is the booster. So it's the Expert Extraction Pilot Booster. Need to get out of a jam fast. This booster lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon. Home in time for dinner. Now, again, this could be a really strong booster. On those missions where you have to wait like three plus minutes for the extraction... This could really reduce the time. Again, we don't know by how much, but I mean, this is going to take some testing. It could be a really, really good booster. And then we've got another look at some of the uh, armor close-up again. This looks really good, honestly. This looks great. I'm going to unlock this armor and never take it off. It looks amazing. Look at that. It looks so good. It, it looks, you know what? It looks like Fallout New Vegas. Um, the splash art for Fallout New Vegas, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks great, man. The C27 Groundbreaker. So, talking about armor, this is the medium armor variant. The ground is just another obstacle that hasn't yet been cleared. Uh, Sergeant Major, I think that means Janet Jones, Excavation Corps founder, or, or at least SGM, I'll go with. <laughs> uh, there's also the CE07 Demolition Specialist. This is light armor. I think this is the one with the grenades on the front. Uh, originally worn by lunar terraformers, this suit can withstand rapid changes in pressure, heat, and personal velocity. And then we get the FS-55 Devastator armor, which I think, or I hope, is the gas mask armor. Domestic versions of this armor allow colonial farmers to safely plant crops and mines side by side while staying in one piece. And you will notice here, guys, there is medium, there is light, or rather I should say there's light, medium, and heavy armor in this war bond. So the devs are listening because the last one didn't have that. That is cool. And then finally, to sum all of this up, of course, always accessorize your choice of armor with brand new capes, Harbinger of True Equality, Eagle's Fury, or Freedom's Tapestry. <laughs> Freedom's Tapestry. As you mix and match your lethal loadout of liberation. Democratic Detonation is rolling out to your Destroyer's Acquisitions panel on April the 11th. Let's drag our malevolent enemies into the burning flames of Hell Soldiers. Fire in the hole. So there you go, guys. I think this is actually going to be a pretty strong war bomb, just, just based off that information. I mean, it, yeah, I think there's a lot of really strong stuff in this. Probably going to be the best war bomb so far in terms of uh, just equipment in the war bomb. Now, remember, it is a premium war bomb, so you will have to use super credits to unlock this. But obviously, if you've been playing the game a lot, you will just have loads of super credits and you should be able to unlock this. And then, of course, you will need medals to buy the individual items on each page of the war bond. All right, then. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then uh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And what do you think could be the strongest weapon in this new war bond? Do let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon.